today uh, we are going to discuss the, the, the kidney diseases. When there is certain disorder in the kidney, the kidney becomes uh, sad like this. Okay, it becomes sad like this, and uh, the, the the diseases which which happen to occur. There are there are many diseases, but uh, in Eurosclerosis, these diseases, are, these disorder diseases are, are included. One kidney stones. The second is what kidney failure. Okay, and uh, what the urine. Okay. Well, if uh, there is a, a stone formation, there there are four or five different types of the stone which are formed in the kidney. So the one is what calcium oxalate. This is the hardest stone found in the kidney. Okay. The the second type is uh, what calcium phosphate, and the third type is uric acid. Okay. And fourth type others. Any any type of the other stones may be found. The, uh, the occurrence of the, the calcium oxalate uh, uh, formation is uh, about seventy percent in the human population. Okay, fifteen percent occurrence is uh, that of what calcium phosphate, and ten uh, percent ten percent of the stones are of this nature. I mean uric acid. Okay, and uh, what the others are. Uh, what we uh, can say what five percent? Okay. How how calcium oxalate is formed? Let us discuss. When there is a high amount of calcium in your blood due to any reason, okay, any metabolic reason or hormonal endocrine reason, when there is high amount of calcium uh, in your blood, this condition is known as what? What hypercalcemia, and when there is a higher amount of uh, what oxalate in your blood, that condition is known as what hyperoxaluria. What hyperoxaluria? So when the oxalates are, say, are, are higher in amount, uh, the calcium is higher in amount. The, there is this condition in your blood. Okay, the blood is in emergency condition. Okay, now. <coughs> The result is what oxalates and uh, calcium. They combine together and they form this stone, calcium oxalate. Okay. The next stone is what calcium phosphate. How it is formed? It is formed when there is hypercalcemia and hyperphosphatemia. There are there is high concentration of phosphate and high concentration of uh, calcium in the blood. What is formed? Calcium phosphate. This is calcium phosphate. And if there is a higher amount of uric acid, then the uric stone is formed and the others as well. Now let's come to uh, the solution. You know there is a, there is a solution to every problem, and there is a problem to every solution. Okay. So the solution to the stone is uh, in this in this age in this era there is a solution that is known as lithotripsy. Lithos means uh, stone and trypsin means to break. Okay, so lithotripsy is a mechanism by which you break the stones in the kidney. Uh, the, the, it is carried out by two ways. One, by concentrate, by, by incidence of higher incidence of the, the X rays to get up on the stone. The stones are broken down and they get into pelvis and then into ureter and then into your. your urine and bladder and to the actual yeah. the, the, the second way, the second mechanism of the lithotripsy is what? Ultrasonic lithotripsy. That is what? Just to mention, the sounds, the sounds have such, such, a, uh, uh, such a power, such an energy that they can break the, they can break the stone. Okay, and uh, what happens? The, the stone, it, it is broken down by the sounds that, that will be released into the ureter and then into the bladder and the ureter. If there is higher concentration of urea in your, your blood, okay, that is what, uh, that is, that is uh, solved by, that problem is solved by dialysis. Dialysis. That is what uh, you, you, Check your blood, okay? The physician takes the blood, 
and that, that is sent to the dialyzer machine and from the dialyzer application that, that is, uh, uh, that, is uh, that is then given to your body okay into your into your vein okay and then that gets into your body and, and that is filtered blood that is only hemodialysis yet there is the second type of dialysis that is what peritoneal dialysis when when the physician or the surgeon that that uh, that uh, puts the, the fluid that can absorb the, the extra amount of uh, urea uh, into your into into your peritoneal cavity okay after that is absorbed that is taken taken back that is taken out uh, so you get rid of the higher amount of uh, urea so these are what the uh, this is the story of uh, kidney stone formation and kidney uh, kidney disorders. Thank you very much.